pretty good flies that are used for the dollar. Uh, basically, the silver stole it's teal blue and silver. And even the blue charm would be a good wee fly for it. So I'm going to kind of combine or do something together that's going to give the impression of these these flies. And it's, this is the idea of tying your own flies that you can do this. So if I was going there and I'm looking to try and catch them, an edge of my bet, so uh, I either have one of each of those flies or two or each of these flies I mentioned, or I put one together which has a wee bit of everything, just for a bit of fun and see what happens. Now the thread, the first thread I'm going to start with, I'm going to use two threads, but this is a Danville's Flymaster, uh, it's in chartreuse, nice and bright. Now I'm going to start this where the throat would be of the fly. I'm just going to start to wind down and then remove the base piece. This is a small the medium tie wire on the top. Carry on down. Now I'm going to stop just before the barb with the hook, just right there. And then I'm going to wind the wire to form the tag four times or so down the bend of the hook, bring it between the hooks, as you can see there, and then straighten it up and then nice and tight. Catch it with the thread, try and line it up, and nice and tight. Now come up about, say, 2 to 3 mil, and then go back to the tag, and then back up. That's me formed a small fluorescent tag at the back, nice and tight. Now, as I say, this fly is going to so I hedge the baits a wee bit, so I'm going to combine colours. Now I've got a golden pheasant crest feather that's been dyed red. This is basically it's fluorescent yellow but uh, it's a natural one dyed, it looks more natural. This is a natural colour looking but it's just got that wee added touch to give it the fluorescence. Now put red on first if you want, whatever you like. Normally the lightest colours first. So in this case I'm putting the yellow under and red on top. Just tie this on the top and I'm doing both together. The length, I mean it's up to yourself. That's about right. And then I'm going to work my way up. Trim this length of the body. And at the same time, as you can see, I'm tying the wire in along the body. This is to try and keep everything level. It's important that you do this. Then what I'm going to do is bend this and come back down. Nice and tight. All the way down until I reach the tail. At that point there. Then you could uh, use a large or, a, in this case, a medium tinsel. This is the Unim Hyla. Uh, now I'm using number 14 as you can see. Normally I would use a larger one but just I'm going to show you a wee tying method that's a bit of fun. And again, edge my bets and the colours. Tie it full into the body. Then I'm going to bring the thread turns up about a third of the way, say, there. And I'm going to basically have the silver side first and just form first third with the silver to meet the thread at that point there. Just come up with your thread at the back, tying it off, like you're going to tie off anyway. Two turns, fold it back, and then take it up the next third. But this time, you've twisted it around so you get the gold. Now, I'm just going to make sure there's no wee ripples there. And there we are. So second part of the body. Again, we repeat this two turns. Take the thread in front, carry on up. Just make sure you've got a kind of level base of thread there ready for your your tinsel. Twist it around so the silver side shows. Nice and tight. And then come in. What I'm going to do here three or four turns in there as you can see trim away the waist and change the thread over to the unifier orange and 8 I've just pulled this out so I'll just suck it through what I do to get the thread through is just basically put it in through the hole 
just hold it there and then suck it up if you can and then I'm going to start my thread just as I would normally do and work over the top of the chartreuse and then I'm just going to make sure these are tied in first before I clip them away trim away the waist and your chartreuse thread bring your wire rib up and then basically make sure you're nice and tight good four plus turns of the wire and then when you're tying off I put that 90 degree bend in make sure the wire's tied in bend and break it away just make sure there's a wee bit of wax on at this point just check everything portions look okay it's nice and tight looking that's fine now what I'm going to do is put a throat on this I've got two colours of blue here I've got a, if you can see it there Kingfisher type blue and a teal blue and all I'm going to do is mix these I'm, going to, I'm not going to wind them on, I'm going to just take off some of the fibres so I'm just going to remove the fluff from the bottom and these are hen hackles, you could use cock hackles as well I'm just going to bring out the fibres 90 degrees you can see these are mixing it up as you do that once they've lined up at the ends, take them away from the feathers. Now you'll get two or three flies out of that. Then you can, if you've got a vice, you can rotate and then turn it upside down. And then just put a small throat in. So we pinch and look like you put a wing on. If you want, you could spread it out just by rubbing your nail on it. Just this just rolls the fibres slightly around. And once you're happy you can trim away. A wee bit of wax on there. And tidy up. Turn it back round. Now for the wing, just give it a wee bit of flash. I've got some pearl crinkle flash. This one here. Or crinkle mirror flash, if you want to call it. A single strand. Then we have it. So maybe say twice the body length. Anyway, just lay it on the top on my side. Come down a couple of turns and fold it back. So there's some on your side. Check your length. Trim away. Just leave that down for your next fly. Now for the wing you could either use bucktail, squirrel, dyed black, or in this case I'm using some Arctic runner. It's entirely up to you. Whatever you've got, just use it because it'll work. Uh, the Arctic runner is nice and soft. Now don't overdo it, overdo it with the, the hair. Got a couple of broken ends here, I'm going to take them away. Now the, the wing, just slightly by the flash. Now once you've got the length you like, I usually like to trim. Square up the ends. You've got wax onto my thread to give me the plenty of grip. And all I do is cut, cut in these, in the thread into the, the cut ends. Tying them in. Now at this point, just in case you've done a bit of warning, you see where you are, meaning like if you've come over onto the, the hackle, you can always go back at this point. That looks okay. And then you can tighten up. Don't be shy about the head. You want a nice bright head, and that's what you're going to get here. And then get some teal. Get some teal feathers or pin tail. Use what you like. I've got a, basically a feather that I can take a small piece from the right and the left side. There's, this is your side, so this can go on the side. Just I'm going to do it slightly less. 
Come around, catch it. Just hold out your finger on the side. See how it goes, yep. And do the same on the other side. Catching it in. Check the lens, okay. Looks fine. Yeah, and you can tighten up. Trim away the waste. Now, to save a wee bit of bulk, I'm just going to leave it at this point and tie in some jungle cop. Now, you don't need to, if you don't want to, add jungle cop, but I'm going to do it just to show you. Two small eyes. I'm just going to basically remove or draw back the fibres I don't want. Just take your time at this point. Just taking away these fine fibres. Sometimes I tie these in, but when you get to the small eyes, the, the fibre length is more a pain than the then I help them to tie it in, so again, so line them up I want to try and fold the eyes or fold back the stems if I can so I'm trying to save as much bulk as possible I'm going to position the eyes just, you can put them on individually if you want I'm just going to use this kind of like a single turn here and hold that looks okay wax onto your thread Go down. Good two or three turns, say. Eh? As long as you can fold these back, you can always keep the thread tight. So I'm folding back the stems, bring the thread to the front, and I'm tying in the cut ends of the teal. And then building the thread from this point up. Just take your time. And you're happy. Always keep the thread nice and tight. And then while I'm going to whip finish, when I'm going to whip finish, what I'm going to do here is tidy up as well if I can, nice and tight. Now you could brighten the head up even more at this point, and I could use a glow bright floss, which I do quite regular. Now I'm going to come in here and get these stems. I can find them anyway. That's one. There's number two. And there we are. This is the Glow Bright number four floss. Now, what I do is just run the wax through it once, and then you can don't have to be right at the beginning, you can just do a wee bit at the top, it just colours it up. You know, a couple of turns, and then trim away the waste. And then another turn. And then go straight in the wet finish. You only need a couple of turns or so. Brightens the head up big time when you do this. Trim away the waste. And there we are. And what I like to do is, this is for speed and strength as well. Come in with the super glue and just touch. Be careful you don't touch any of the fibres of the hair. All the way around. That dries within five minutes or less, even. And there we are. Give your moisture on the, the wing so you can see it. Get a nice shape, taper, good mix of colour. Certainly, it takes sea trout anyway, even s small grouse as well. As many times I've had a, a grouse on a fly this colour. And there we are. Now, as I say, it doesn't take long for that super glue to dry. And that's brand new stuff, it's just opened. And the newer it is, uh, 
the quicker it actually dries. So I'm going to come in here with some standard clear varnish from this is Benyard one. And there we are. Looks, looks fine. Now that's what I'm going to call the Dollahan Special. Well, it'll be special if it catches a few fish or a few of them. And you can always let me know. So I hope you enjoyed that. It's certainly one to have a bit of fun time.